out of all these tests, which are over 2,000 now, we found out that the stakeholders representing the client caused over 90% of the risk, project costs and time deviations. That vendors who are expert vendors actually caused less than 1% of the risk. And the expert is the only one who we found could actually pre-plan, track time and cost deviation and do risk mitigation. So we actually came to the conclusion, if what we're seeing over and over on every test was true and contractors could actually be only, quote, identified as causing less than 1% of the project risk in cost, that we're gonna make the simple assumption that the expert can actually tell the difference. The expert can actually see into the future and the expert doesn't cause risk. So therefore, what we determined was in our approach, the expert would tell us from beginning to end what they would do. So they would pre-plan the whole thing out. The expert would tell us the difference all along the way in terms of conditions. And the experts would make it simple. By making it a no-brainer, or which did not require thinking or decision-making from the client stakeholders. Now, some of you might say, how the heck are we gonna do that? This is where we have to get real simple. And how did I ever figure this out? I must have been lucky. How do you make things simple? How do you create transparency? The first one is you can't talk technical language at all. Anything you communicate has to be so simple that the stakeholder who is the slowest processor, remember, Slow as processor, can't see almost anything, has to be able to see. So any communications now has to be done using metrics and not any metrics, simple metrics. For example, the metrics have to be simple enough First, everybody can agree that whatever is represented by the metric is observable, like I'm holding one water bottle. Yeah, I think that's simple enough. If somebody tries to tell me that, no, I'm actually holding a half a water bottle, then I kick him out. Okay, that's not, you know, that's not even like representative of reality, right? Normal people can observe something. And everybody has to agree that it's one water bottle. That's the first requirement. Second requirement, it has to be countable. Like this is one water bottle, or I did something two times, or I did it three times, or my customer satisfaction is 99% out of 10 tests. And these are the tests, and this is how it adds up to 99%, right? It has to be countable. Now, I often say, people say, well, what, what does countable mean? Uh, if, if we can minimize it to adding and subtracting and maybe very simple multiplication, that's it. Can't go beyond that. If somebody in the group who's a major stakeholder can't see it, what do we do with that metric? It gets tossed. We don't use it, right? Remembering now that we want an expert and the expert knows that most people are not experts. Wow. An expert knows that most people aren't experts. Wow. 
I mean, that's a statement and a half, right? But if you're an expert, you know that the majority of people are not experts. You know that the majority of people are doing this kind of thing, right? So now, basically, we want to identify and utilize expertise. And the expert is the only one. And because they cause so little risk, we now come to the conclusion that experts don't cause risk. So we use that assumption. So now the only thing that experts do at risk is experts mitigate risk. How do they mitigate risk? By telling people ahead of time what the risk will be and what they advise the other party or the stakeholder to do to minimize having that risk happen. Very straightforward. And experts can do this.